Hello everyone, welcome back to year 2 science lesson. We are now in unit 8, mixture. The topic for today's lesson is materials that dissolve more quickly. To do this, we are going to investigate the solubility of sugar in hot and cold water. Let's do this, let's go! Let's go! Alright boys and girls, as you know, we are investigating the solubility of sugar in hot and cold water. We are going to find out which water can dissolve sugar more quickly. To do this investigation, the apparatus and the materials that we need are cold water, hot water, sugar, glass rods or chopsticks, two beakers or glasses, and spoon. If you have these apparatus and materials, you can do this investigation at home. These are the steps for this investigation. Step 1. Pour 200ml of cold water into glass A and 200ml of hot water into glass B. Step 2. Add 1 teaspoon of sugar into each glass. Step 3. Stir the water in both glasses at the same time. Step 4. Observe the sugar in glass A and glass B. Which dissolve first? Record your observation. At the end of this investigation, we are going to find out which water can dissolve sugar more quickly. Now, let us do the investigation together. Pour 200ml of cold water into glass A and 200ml of hot water into glass B. Add 1 teaspoon of sugar into each glass. Stir the water in both glasses at the same time. Observe the sugar in glass A and glass B, which dissolve first. Alright boys and girls, now we are going to record your observation based on the investigation that we have done. But first, please copy this information into your science year 2 exercise book. Please write it down neatly. Now look at this table. We have glass A with cold water, glass B with hot water. Based on your observation, which sugar dissolve first? Is it sugar in glass A or sugar in glass B? The answer is sugar in glass B yes sugar in glass B dissolve first now let's answer the question below materials can dissolve more quickly in blank water than blank water so what should we answer in these two blanks the answer is materials can dissolve more quickly in hot water than cold water good job everyone for our next activity, please get ready with your science year 2 activity book and turn to page 59. For this activity, we are going to do one more investigation. The apparatus and materials for this investigation are 100ml of hot water, 100ml of water at room temperature, 100ml of cold water, cocoa powder, and teaspoon. Let us read the steps for this investigation. Step 1. Set up the apparatus and materials as below. Cold water, water at room temperature, and hot water. Step 2. Add cocoa powder to each cup. Step 3. Stir the cocoa powder at the same time. Step 4. 
Record the time taken for the cocoa powder to dissolve in each cup. Now, let us do the investigation. Set up the apparatus and materials as below. Add cocoa powder to each cup. Now, stir the cocoa powder at the same time. Record the time taken for the cocoa powder to dissolve in each cup. Look for the fastest, fast and slow to dissolve. Alright everyone, it's time to record your observation. Please use the table below. Based on your observation, you should know by now the time taken for the cocoa powder to dissolve in each cup. But here you don't have to write down the time in the column provided. You just write the fastest, fast and slow. And please write it down based on your observation. Next, please answer the question that follows. Question number 1. Cocoa powder dissolves the fastest in blank water and dissolves the slowest in blank water. So you should write down is it dissolve the fastest in hot water or cold water or dissolve the slowest in hot water or cold water. Same goes to question number two. Materials can dissolve more quickly in what condition of water? Is it hot water or cold water? So here we just fill in, is it hot or cold? And the final blank, you should write down cold water or hot water. Alright, I repeat for these two questions. Number one, cocoa powder dissolve the fastest in blank water and dissolve the slowest in blank water. Number two, materials can dissolve more quickly in blank water than in blank water. I think you should know the answer by now. Good luck everyone. Alright everyone, I hope to see you in the next video for our next lesson. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care and bye-bye.